and we are live. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Kenny and Guy here, and I am back. Um, before we start, I do want to apologize. Uh -oh. Thank you. Hand off the corner. Uh, out of the corner. Thank you. <laughs> so, before we even begin, I do want to apologize. So, um, uh, unfortunately, as you can tell. I was supposed to stream on Tuesday, and I was supposed to stream yesterday, and I didn't. Um, yesterday was not a good day for me. I don't know why. Um, I lost a lot of my mojo for some reason. It was supposed to be some catch-up streams, and I just... I couldn't do it yesterday, and I, I'm very, uh, very sorry that um, I wasn't here to stream. I'm very sorry. Um, there was no storm yesterday. There was no nothing. Just couldn't do it and I don't know why so I just want to say that I am sorry um, so that is why the bar has not been reset yet the bar is still where it is because I know we're into the next month but because I missed two streams I decided to leave it up for at least today and uh, you know try to catch up so give me a second to finish getting set up we shall begin um, I just got to send out uh, the alert, like the, uh, letting everybody know that uh, we are back now. Over the course of a year, I wanted to revisit this game. In fact, I think I'm going to revisit this game as a whole video, as a whole video, probably um, sometime relatively soon. Um, and I want to do a video of like KO the Kangaroo one year later, right? Because when we first got KO, it, the, it was there. The core of the game was really, really, really... Hey, thank you so much, Corey97. It was really good, but there was a lot of little bugs, and they were all very little, and there was so many little bugs that it kind of deterred from the game significantly, right? And it's like termites, right? One or two termites is not so bad. A hundred of them, it rots away, right? So... But I was excited to see what this game is going to be like a year later when they've released updates, when they release patches. And they have. They have released updates. They've released patches. They've released skins. They've released a whole bunch of stuff. And so I'm excited to be able to get back into KO to see what they've changed, the stuff that they fixed, anything that they've done. And I'm, I am excited because... As I said, I never hated KO. I actually very much enjoyed KO. The, the graphics were great. The aesthetic was great. The music is good. Everything about it, I really enjoyed it. But like I said, those tiny little bugs really just nitpicked it to death. So I'm excited to see after a year of a, of a game going through all of these patches, all of these things, what does it look like? What does it play like? Is it different? Is it better? Is it this? And I'm excited to see. So I see a couple donations came in. Aaron does stuff. Thank you so much for the $10. I really do appreciate that. And Draco Man Gamer has been a member for seven months. So glad we've seen playing KO again. I almost thought that it was going to be one and done game when streaming. No, I wanted to get, like I said, I want to get back to it. So give me one minute. I'll, I'm going to sound the alerts and we shall begin. Thank you so much for the two donations, guys. I appreciate that. On YouTube. Almost ready. Uh, YouTube, which is over over here grab that thank you all so much for the support i really do appreciate that thank you thank you everyone and again i i, I know everyone's saying oh don't worry some people are saying oh don't worry about it but it, no it bothered me yesterday it, it bothered me because 
Um, it had been a long while since I felt like I lost uh, lost my mojo. It, it was weird. It was um, a mojo spark, whatever you want to call it. Um, it had been actually quite a long while since that happened. Uh, give me a second here. Um, there it is. Sorry. Almost ready. I apologize for taking just a wee bit. Almost done. You guys are very generous. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. We are also this close to 74,000 subscribers. We are so close. We're like 50 and change. So if you're not subscribed, double check. Some people think that they are subscribed and they're actually not. I knew, a, I knew somebody a ways back, probably about two years ago, that watched my channel for like three years and never knew I was, I didn't even know they were subscribed. <laughs> so, double check if you if you are interested. If you're not, that's fine too. So, there, there are so many donations that came in. So, let's just quickly read through. Elena donated $10 and $5. From Grandma to you with love, thank you. Uh, please remember to take care of yourself. Put this towards a nice picking up treat. Thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for the $5. And here's Tuesday's $5 from Grandma. Thank you. Tell your grandma she's awesome. All right. So. If we could maybe get started, that would be good. All right, here we go. New game. Let's start. All right, so obviously no difference here because Where are they? you'll never get them. They'll be your end. Okay, it was impossible to play on Switch Lite. Too many glitches. I had to restart the game several times. I'm sorry to hear that. Was that new? Maybe I, my memory is just bad. Looked like that—that was—that was a bit different for some reason. All right. Yep. Oh yeah, the voice acting in this game is pretty. Uh, it's it's fun. Yeah, remember how to the controls. It's right there's a finisher, right? Boom! Yeah, combat still is the best, uh, best part of this game so far. All a dream. Now I don't know if they I don't know if they fixed that. Because there was missing sound effects there before on my playthrough. Maybe she knows what happened to Dad. I have to help her. Please don't try to stop me, Mom. Don't worry. I won't. I won't? I tried to stop your father, and it didn't work. I tried to stop your sister, and she ran away. Stubbornness clearly runs in the family, so I'm not going to make the same mistake again. All right. All right. What's the catch? If you go, you go well prepared. Go and find Walt first. He's probably checking the area around the dojo. He has to do it more often lately. Okay. All right. I'm on my way. All right. Here we go. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. Of course I am. Yeah, the, the, the voice acting is pretty corny. <laughs> All right. What? Kaya? 
What's a Kaya? What am I hitting here? <laughs> so I'm punching over here, but the <laughs> impact is over here. I wonder if there's like a, an old, like, null aspect here or something. We still got the long, <laughs> long back KO. Let's see. A good start. That's a very small, like that's very nitpicky. That's small. That's nothing like bad. Hi, Awesome King. How's it going? go I gotta go up and around and get that up there Is that really you? Sis? And over here I hope Wolf is somewhere around here big coins did you ever play the original I did not I did I played the second one I played the second one. I did not play the original Dreamcast one on Dreamcast, I don't think. Money, 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 money. This could be a 100% playthrough. That's the plan. If I can remember everything. Rolling through. There we go. So. My, when we get to a certain level, my bells got glitched really badly uh, on my playthrough. And it happened every time. So I'm hoping that, that that was fixed. It turns to this really annoying, like, ding! From like a nice little bong to like a ding! It's like, oh gosh, my ears. By the way, how is the audio balance? Uh, is something too quiet, too loud? Was there a patch? Oh, yeah, there's been numerous patches. So that's why I'm like, all right, let's see. I'm sure Walt would know what to do. I always look behind the waterfall. <laughs> but the, that's what they was like, like, just a big board gang. It's like, ah. <laughs> Here, let me uh, let me just adjust the volume just a smidge. Then there we go. How's that? All right, so I turned it up a smidgen, a smidgy smidge, a smidgy smidge. That's smidgy. <laughs> you expect like like that 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 boom boom smack. That was cracking. You rang him like a bell, coach. Those were some pro moves. Hey, Flatty man, thank you so much for the five dollars. What have you done? Isn't it great? I found Dad's gloves. Someone buried them. I did, with good reason. It was you? But why? Something evil going on. Darkness. Why your dad left? To defeat it. Same darkness corrupted his gloves. Look normal, maybe. Their power changed. Your father noticed. But Kaya wanted me to find them. It was her that left. I'll read your gloves. donation in After Flanny. Explain. I dreamed about her before coming to look for you. She was trying to tell me something. When I woke, Mom agreed that I should go help her. She what? 
I came here to look for you. Kaya's ghost or whatever that was led me to the gloves. The world? Now upside down. Must forget everything I think I know. Ah, uh, you are right. Can't ignore the signs. Too many now. Walter's dialogue is... Wacky and cracking like you did? Oof. Get me ready for the journey to save sis. I bet together we'd be able to figure out what happened to dad. Hmm. Purple shirt representing the purple boy? Prove Not... Purple boy represent the purple boy. <laughs> come from them. It is... Come. It is, as they say, a per day. I am. The tie dye. No, it's it's like scaled. It's all like scaly. I don't wear this shirt a lot. It's a weird material. Another leg spike, eh? Weird. All right. I also need a haircut. Jeez, I keep having to adjust my hair. Whoop. There we go. I do think, like, KO as a guest character would be kind of cool. I would love to see, like, um... Just, I I think Ko would work in a uh, in Wumpa League. Just like he's got the double jump, he's got a roll. I think he'd be a lot of fun to play as. I don't know if like I'm trying to figure out if it's the stream or if there's something wrong on my end because. Streamlabs is saying there's no issues, but I wonder if there are issues and Streamlabs is just not telling me. Ty would be cool too, yeah. Ty would be another really cool character to have. Bye! Deleted. I have not Max. I have not heard of that game. There we go. How's it going today? It's going better than it was yesterday. Yesterday. So I am also playing the stream tomorrow. I'm planning to as long as, you know, my brain doesn't become mean to me again. If you know what I mean. CT uh, Rumble uh, <laughs> becomes platform crossover arena LL J JK unless I mean I'm not really opposed to that you know oh yeah there's also something that you know I've been saying and I've been saying this for a while I've been saying this for a long while that uh, we might be able to be able to actually try Crash Team Rumble before it actually comes out because of the fact of it being multiplayer focused, there's a chance that there's going to be a beta, right? I've been saying that for well over, like, uh, for a while. Like, I've been saying that for a long time that, you know, we're going to be potentially seeing and actually playing the game earlier than expected. Like, uh, the game won't launch, but the multiplayer will definitely, you know... Will it be cl it probably start off as closed multiplayer, then eventually go to, you know, open? Or, like, closed bit. Is there a box here? Okay, I thought I was running into, like, some invisible thing, so. But, yeah, I think that, that it would be super cool to see that. But what's really cool about that too is that it's, I think, a good business thing because people don't know what the game is like. But if you can throw the game into beta and then get people hooked on it, well, I think a lot of people will really like that. 
I think beta is coming in April. April? You think April? There we go. I haven't tried this game on Switch. Um, somebody in chat, though, had said that they tried this. They did not like the game on Switch. So, I'm not 100% sure. We spelt KO. But on PC, it's really good. That's all I can vouch for, PC. Yeah, so I'm right now playing on Steam. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller at the moment. Oh God. Yeah, yeah, Walt. Yeah, there are a couple empty booths. I noticed that too. What are your thoughts on the Carter suit? I haven't tried it yet, but... Uh, um, I am excited to give that game a try. I am, as you say, excited. Duckets! Buckets of duckets! Here. Will Nitro Field will ever be released on PC? I think you've asked that question almost every week. And I think we can say probably, oh, probably not now. But again, I'm not sure. Well, that animation's better, if I remember correctly. That seems a little bit better. Well, not as, uh... Well, I upload about Banjo again. I have this weird fear about uploading about Banjo. I've done it before. It's not that I haven't uploaded about Banjo before. I have. Just, when I made my Triple R episode... Uh, for Banjo, um, I put a lot of time into it, and the video didn't perform that well. And I get I get stage fright when I try something like a bit of a different game, and the views are significantly lower. I do legitimately get kind of like a stage fright because you have to think um, in terms of like payoff and reaction, right? I spent two weeks working on that Banjo Kazooie Triple R, right? Um, which was the show that I ran for a little bit, um, that I've put on hiatus for a little bit now, because I have to, I had to figure out the branding and figure out what I want to do with it. Because the idea is still there, but I think I'm going to adjust it. But the problem with doing something like Triple R is that it takes me two weeks to edit that video, and then it's like, okay, and then... It doesn't perform as well as a video that, you know, took me less than a week, you know, three days. And that video that took me three days got quadrupled the views that a video that took me two weeks to do, right? So, it's kind of like, you know, almost a stage fright. But uh, I also want to say, though, that... Uh, I had the honor recently. Uh, let me ask you something. Does anybody know who vidIQ is? Does anyone know? Hey, Trev. Does anyone know who vidIQ is? Mm. I got that scroll. I did get a scroll. Don't tell me I didn't.
So vidIQ So with these on, I'm good to go, right? One second. I can punch anything with them? Not yet. Still don't know their power. How it may affect you. But they're the only thing I have left of that. I want to wear them. Really? You play the sad card? Um yeah. Little monster. <laughs> Wipe those fake tears. Try the gloves on a real opponent. You ready, coach? Nah. I talk about the terror. <laughs> Sure thing, no problem. You wear dark for us, cause here I come. That's the spirit. Okay. Uh, let's call them runes. Yes, good name. I believe runes are connected to crystal gates. Show up a while ago. Alright. So, the big thing about uh, what vidIQ is, vidIQ is a... Uh, is basically an app for YouTube and basically allows you to be able to help you get your thumbnails, helps you get your stats for your channel and stuff. And recently, and their YouTube channel has 1.4 million subscribers, which is, that's, that's pretty significant if you ask me, right? You know, 1.4 million, that's, that's, that's a lot. So anyway, they do these things where uh, live they actually like audit someone's channel where they sit down and they actually look at the channel um they analyze it they tell you oh is uh you know how your thumbnails how's your stuff and i was lucky enough to be chosen for an audit for the channel and you have to understand there are thousands of people applying and because I won a little contest of theirs, a thumbnail contest, I was able to get uh, an audit done on my channel. And I was really, really, really happy about that. And I was able to have them actually professionally look at my channel. And basically what they kind of suggested was that they were happy with my thumbnails. They were happy with my titles. They were like, that was all good and gravy. The thing that they suggested though is, which is something I knew I had to be done is expanding the channel, right? Has been wanting to expand the channel, right? And they've been saying, you got to branch out and try other games. And of course, you know, uh, they said one thing I was just a, 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 a smidge insulted, where I was just like, hey, they said that, you know, Crash and Spyro, when it comes to the platformer scene, he's like, they're kind of uh, mid, you know, mid card, right? Um, they're, they're kind of mid card, right? I was like, hey, right. But of course, when you compare something to like, you know, like Mario, you know, it can be kind of understandable as to why one would think that. All right, so I don't know how to get the, um, I don't know how to get the uh, unlockable stuff because I know that there is a bunch of stuff that you can unlock, like a bunch of skins and stuff, but I'm not sure. So anyway, my point that I'm trying to say is one of the things that they suggested was to try and branch out to the more big AAA stuff. So Mario, right? And, you know, in terms of, like, you know, like you should try Mario and start dipping my toe into the Nintendo scene. And... I feel very, um, not mixed about that. I just, I feel very nervous. And I feel nervous about that because Mario is such a... Mario is just such a gigantic IP, right?
and I've always been nervous to tackle Mario. And the thing is, though, is that I can definitely see it working. I mean, like, look, I have the mustache, right? Like, already, that's already the joke. The guy that looks like Mario is talking about Mario, right? Like, the ha ha, but don't shh, the niche and joke is already there, right? Like I said, the joke is already present. Like, it's like the joke's already written. It's already done. It's all the joke. The joke is already there and ready to go. I have streamed Mario by me like a video though, like a full blown analytical video. Live streaming is one thing, right? Live streaming is one thing. Making a dedicated video is another, right? Making a dedicated video about that is another thing. Because there are channels that are quite literally dedicated to Mario, right? And I mean, like, that's their channel is Mario. There's And there's so much Mario stuff. And I'm... If I go there, I'm worried about also my own audience being like, Hey... Um, my own audience being like, hey, we kind of subscribe, you know, Crash Bandicoot is almost seen as like the anti-Mario type of fan base, right, in a way, but I know that's not, you know, entirely true, of course, I know that for a fact, but still, it's, it's there, it's on my, it's on my mind, right? Jonathan donated $10 to Super Chat, and it's a super sticker, thank you so much for the super sticker, Jonathan, I really appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That's incredibly sweet of you. Thank you. But yeah, one of the things that they suggested was to expand in that aspect. And wanted to reach out to you guys and ask you, would you guys, as my audience, watch a Mario video done in the style of my current crash and spiral videos which comes to either theories talking about potential remakes and remasters etc thousand percent yes There we go. There is a video that I have been... So, actually, funny enough, I have this written down on my book somewhere. I actually had a Donkey Kong video, kind of. I had a, um, a fun little video named Four Games That Could Return in 2024, right? for 2024 and I went and I did a bunch of research and one of the games that I hit just on a quick skim was Donkey Kong so I didn't know though apparently some people are saying that there's a rumored potential like I'm here reading what some people are saying here that some people are suggesting that there is apparently a rumored Donkey Kong game in development Well, one No one saw? Phew. That was lucky. Wouldn't want that on Rootube. Ha Where's the rest of you? Work in progress. 
old and mystical method. Spirit walking. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe I can learn that one day. Maybe. But now, focus. Find the terror. If you need me, I'm here. <laughs> There we go, go up to here. There we go. Ow. Banjo is a weird one. But there is a video that I have kind of, uh, I'm feeling better. I feel a little bit more rested today, I am. Feel a little bit more rested, a little bit more, um, I got feeling a little bit like my old self again, you know, still a little bit tired, still a little tired, but a little tired is better than what I was feeling yesterday. Yesterday was no, not good. I will just leave it at that. Not good, but I'm better now. Did I like Sonic Frontiers? I like Sonic Frontiers in small bursts. I had a hard time sitting down and playing it for a long time. Uh, no. Banjo-Kazooie probably wouldn't do that. Hey, see, did you pick a number between 1 and 10? Uh, 10. Uh, 11. There was just a bypassing article that I saw on my uh, on my phone, and if it's true, I want to scream at Sony, because Sony apparently wants to buy Take Two Interactive. Apparently, apparently they're lining up to buy Take Two Interactive, and I want to sit there and I'm like, you hypocrites! Like if Sony bought Take Two, it'd be, I would be fine with it. But goodness me, after the meltdown that they had over Xbox, goodness me. Hey, Flanny Man donated five dollars for super chat. Thank you so much. I'm thinking of a number between one and one hundred. What is it? Uh, sixty-two. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> thank you so much for the five dollars, Flanny Man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, apparently, though, all right, here, let me see here, let's see, do we still get the T-posing frog? Do we get the T-posing frog? Here we go, T-posing frog, yep, <laughs> uh, he's just asserting his dominance, still got the, still got the T-posing frog. I, th I think Spyro 4 neck like if we hit 2025 and we haven't heard anything from Spyro I will s my Spyro hype not going to go down and I'm not going to think that the franchise is dead it, as long as the uh as long as the uh as long as uh the transaction goes through cuz I actually I have a video set up that's called uh you know, Spyro is inevitable, and there is, there is an, there, there's an, there is an if. Uh, Aaron does things, th does stuff. Thank you so much for the ten dollars. You picked ten, so I'll donate ten dollars. Oh, thank you. You can make uh, Donkey Kong and Skylanders videos. I did make a sc one, one sc dedicated Skylander video. I got some uh, interesting traction. 
I'm also making my first uh, dedicated Legend of Spyro video. That's in the works. Um, but there is a Spyro video that I am in the midst of writing. And that the summary is basically if the Activision acquisition goes through, Spyro is going to inevitably come back. Even in the worst case scenario, if we're in the worst case scenario right now where there is no Spyro game in development, period. And I mean period. There's still going to be a um, an inevitability. So thank you again for the ten dollars. Aaron does stuff. Thank you. Normal. A stuffed toy is normal. Hey, you leave Mr. Beaver out of this. Hey, what is that thing? Don't. It's not me. Hey, that got fixed. At least the sound effect. Suffer listening to that boring old fart for a moment longer. So it's true. You really are corrupted. We do not know each other, and yet you are already insulting us. <laughs> Maybe we shall get along after all. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, and so shatter our hopes once more. No blazing flame. I am the Eternal Gloves, and what you see before you is the Eternal World. Yeah, Uka Uka Gloves, literally. Made that joke in my video. So, let me clarify again what I said. Uh, if, if this acquisition goes through, if in the worst case scenario, Spyro was not in development, in the worst case, let's say Spyro, let's say... For the sake of argument, right now, at this very moment, worst case scenario, there is no Spyro game in development at the moment. Worst case scenario. One second. What? You spoke with the gloves? Your dad did not. Once. You mean they wanted to Oops. me? They chose me. You overestimate. Oops. Do not. Be careful with them. In the eternal world, you are alone. I cannot enter. Jealous. So, to make sure I'm making this as clear as possible. If, and this is a big if, worst case scenario, Spyro is not in development right now. All the hunting that I, we've done, all the searching, all the research, all of it was for naught. Right, all of it's for not. It would it meant deadly squad. Do I think? Do I think it's that? No, I think very much it does mean stuff. But let's say for the sake of argument, in this argument, let's say it isn't. It's worth for nothing. If this acquisition completes, Spyro will be inevitable. And that's on the basis that Activision has no plans for him, which I disagree, and I do believe they do have uh, a plan for Spyro. Already got... I do believe they have plans already for Spyro. We're about to get to the groovy frogs. See there, Sierra. Thank you so much for stopping by. Ah, yes. The range frogster. My favorite frogster. You missed. That sweet. There we go. This way. I I messed up. I messed my buttons up there. Whoops. 
My bad. I was trying to dash, but uh, yeah, I goofed it. There we go, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think, you know, if, if Banjo came back, I think that would be super cool. Like, if the acquisition completed and, like, they have a guest character of Banjo Kazooie for Rumble, I think that would be absolutely amazing. I mean, could you imagine playing through the game and you, you're hearing the, wow, right? And then all of a sudden you're the, oh! from Kazooie? <laughs> like, that'd be great. Go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> just hearing Banjo again. His special move can be like, <laughs> the special, one of the special moves can be like, uh, if they want to do like a stun or something, like because it's a MOBA, is that if Banjo <laughs> has a, a like a, like Banjo ho hoedown, he pulls out the banjo and Kazooie pulls out the kazoo, and he starts playing, and anybody in the ring has to stop and they have to dance. <laughs> it's like an AOE stun around you, like, bam, 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 and everyone's dancing. <laughs> Booyah. That's if they have like, you know, ultimate abilities and stuff. Like, you know, like uh, certain characters have certain, you know, abilities that others don't. Shabuya. See, this was the strongest point of this game is that the combat's really good. It feels heavy, it feels um like impactful, impactful, feels like it lands really nice. Ooh. Ugh, excuse me. That's the sound effect of the of the bell Th that glitches out. That sound. There we go. That's okay, Dalton. Thank you so much for stopping by. Whee! In the worst case scenario, they will tease Spiral for two years. Uh... Yeah, please no. Yeah, please. I don't want two years of teases. Uh, I don't want Wuppa League 2.0 when it comes to Spyro. Please. Gosh, no. I don't... Please. Where it's two years of people screaming about whether or not it exists or not. And how dare you, you have hope for things. <laughs> how dare you hope for things. There's a really weird, like, um... There's a really weird aspect right now 
when it comes to sound effects are fixed there's a really 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 weird like hate towards and teasing towards Spyro fans that want a new game and it's not by like people that are like from other fan bases it's actually from people within the Spyro fan base itself of people like mocking people for wanting a new game and that was something that was really, really, really aggravating. I can't believe you want Aki to touch Spyro again. Yeah, kind of. It was very weird. It was very strange for wanting to, like, throw dirt at people who want a new game. Just very weird. Ow. Sure, you could lose hope. Okay, fine, lose hope. But don't dunk on people who are hoping for a new game, right? Oh, 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 okay. I was, uh, can't watch uh, 2 a.m., but I love those videos like the one today. Your work is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Today's video definitely got some, um, reactions. Oh, well, there I go. Yeah, there's a, there was a, um, some reactions to today's video, which, um, I suspected, but uh, there was one person that go as far as saying that, uh, um, that I need to seek psychiatric help. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, man, geez. Like, I felt like today's, like, demeanor was very much like, all right, it's, it, this is out there, but there might be something to it. Uh, wrong button. Like, it's that. Okay. Right? Like, I quite literally opened up saying, all right, bust out your tinfoil. Like, <laughs> I don't know how much more clear you want me to be. Where I'm like, all right, we're gonna bust out the tin foil in the in the red thread for your conspiracy board. That was my op one of my opening lines was like, all right, here we go, and I literally just tracked a uh, you know a tin foil hat to my head. <laughs> hey, Mike Higby, can't please everyone. Yeah, I get you, but it's like like <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I need to upsend myself for, you know, psychiatric help. <laughs> ah, shoot. Man, I don't know. I was watching it like, man, I don't know about this one. But by the end, I was like, okay, I see it. Fair. <laughs> yes. It's... It, you see that that that's that's kind of where I was like I was like you know it's like this imagine the therapist reaction to you telling them you you're there because you believe in a spiral sequel lay gasp Man. A heart would be nice.
Yeah, and that's fine, Mike my, my Higby, too. I mean, like, I've... I have medication, too. You know, not trying to, you know... You know, I do as well. And... There's nothing wrong with seeking professional help for your mental health. But to tell somebody in a derogatory manner to go seek mental health, be mental help because of they made a fun conspiracy video online about a video game. Oh, come on. There we go. Hurt! Give me my ducats. <laughs> Tony Vulture <laughs> Tony Vulture isn't real. He can't hear he hear he hurt you. <laughs> Tony Vulture. Man, it sounds like 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 a, a place you get ripped off of for a Hey, come on down to Tony Vultures! You get the best pickings around! I'll pick anything you want, your car, I'll pick it! Your couch, I'll pick it. Your TV, I'll pick it. Come on down to Tony Vultures. <laughs> like some pawn shop. At Tony Vultures, you pick the prices. Hey, Star 15. I got all the stock that I'm carrying around. Carrying around? <laughs> Can we hit? No? Okay, I guess. Schmack. Hey, kid dog. Yeah, that's still a glitch. <laughs> circle on down to Tony Vultures! It's funny, circle on down. Yeah, small ghost coin still there. Roll, roll, roll. Ha! Okay, oh. Shamak. Once that you had a therapist who said they liked your content. <laughs> I'm trying. I th I think I did. I think I had a um. Uh, it wasn't a therapist, but it was a counselor. I blame the weather. Yeah, the weather is pretty bad. They're telling us, yeah, we're getting a Texas low front coming in. I'm like, why are why is a low front from Texas causing Canada to have snow? Isn't it the other way around? Do I watch Mandalorian? That I do. I haven't started the new one yet, if it's out yet. Booyah! 
Good job getting the frog stairs. Look, they drop one of the ruins. All right. Hmm. Get that. There we go. Give me your ducats. Last fight, Clipper. Have I played ukulele? Uh, excuse me. A little bit? Not too, too much. Breaking all the stuff. I remember attacking the power of Juju. I got all the stuff. <sighs> Alright. I do gotta run to the bathroom. So I will be right back. I'm not going to pause the game because, the you know, it's such a nice, you know, sound. So I got to run the bathroom. I will be right back. <sighs> oh, whoopsies. All right. Actually, there we go. All right. I'll be right back. Just go to the bathroom.
We are... God! <laughs> One hundred dollars. What? Hey, CG, is there any other art from that particular artist from your last vid that sh showed the blue and red items, or was that it? Also, do you think that there will be gameplay at E3? <sighs> okay. Give me a minute to breathe. <laughs> Owen, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. That is incredibly generous and kind of you. Thank you. Thank you, Owen Moore. Thank you, thank you. A million thank yous. That helps. That helps so much. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you so much for the $100. Um, no, there was no other uh, art from anybody from that artist, as far as I am aware. Um... However, in terms of E3, um, I do think that we'll get maybe like an update at E3. I think we'll definitely get an update at E3. I think that is possible. Thank you so much. I, I'm really grateful for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Owen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You found what you look for. Okay, let's do this. Hey, you. Hi, Dan Master. Hiding out there in the dark? Come out and face me. I'm Ko, son of Kobe. I came here to kick your butt and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Hi. Hmm. I've got to admit, I was expecting you to be more impressive. Come on, then. Let's end this. Right here, right now. How about terroristic your Well, I can play Croc again. Maybe eventually I will. Maybe eventually I will play Croc again.
kill him. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Got him. Hey, what's the matter with this crystal? Yeah, that's English. That's English. The gloves did that? Cool. But what was it? Where did you get it from? I got it far away. In the jungle. Terror saw a shiny crystal. There was giant. Terror took a piece for himself. Monkeys didn't care. Monkeys are crazy. Thanks. That should be what I need. As for you, stay away from the kangaroo village. I won't be so soft on you next time. Thud bow! Know what I mean? <laughs> mm. Five minutes on the nose, apparently. Oh, I want to show you guys something really quick, okay? So, my daughter, the cute little pink fairy princess that she is, she is a perfect combination of a little Einstein and Taz from Looney Tunes. You know, right? She, she's either one or the other. She's either super intelligent or just destruction. And I want to show you guys something both She's three. She's three. This is her toy. She loves this toy. Okay, this is... It's like a, it's like a driving thing, okay? But, because we bought it used... Okay? Because we bought it used, the batteries were already in it. Which was fine. But the batteries died today. She's three. She's three. She figured out where the batteries went. She figured that they go on the bottom. So guess what she did? With her bare hands. The screw is still in there. And on the other side too. With her bare hands, she put her fingers in and tore. It's busted. Look, you can see the. it's all. <laughs> My daughter. It was three figured out that the batteries were dead and that they needed new batteries. So she took her hand and just tore it back. <laughs> busted. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just staring at And she comes down with the batteries. Here you go, daddy. And I'm like, what happened? She just peeled this thing. <laughs> she peeled this thing back like a Coke can. And I'm just like, what? What? What, what? <laughs> what did you do? And she's, she's three. She's three. She's three. And she's just like, oh, big batteries. <laughs> And I'm just like, okay, first off, super smart. Second off, just just a brute of a little creature. <laughs> hey, Alan Wolf. Hmm. And I was like, what? And my wife and I, we were just staring at this thing, and we're just laughing. We're, we are just laughing hysterically. Hysterically, like, just, like... Who does that? I was just la- I thought it was so, so funny. That she just-
peeled it back like a Coke can. Here you go, Daddy. The batteries are broken. Gee, thanks, honey. <laughs> Next time, if your toy breaks, bring it to Daddy to fix. Because now I gotta figure out how to fix how, how to get it so the batteries aren't rolling around. Ugh. Oh, that little girl, man. Hilarious. She did get the bed. She did. She did. She did. Uh, she wanted it open. She got it open. My daughter has the deter. Uh, she. My daughter has determination. David. He's got determination, but he thinks about things and he's smart. And if he realizes he can't do it, he knows when to ask. Hope. If Hope is playing with something she's not supposed to, and you take the toy away, and you put it up, her thought is, I'm going to get that toy. I, I don't know how I'm going to, but I'm getting that toy. With Whether you like it or not, Daddy, I'm getting that toy. And she's determined to be like, I'm going to get that. And I'm, and I'm like, that's not even a toy. I'm sorry you guys are getting lag. Anyway, did you want something? Yes. I'm going on a mission to bring back my sis and dad. What's going on with this? I don't know. We can take your plane. Oh, I'm afraid if my plane won't be able to join us, it's gone. Very strange that was. It disappeared the same night as your sister. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, everyone. Do you have anything else we could use? Scrappy would do. I've kitted her out with some top-of-the-line upgrades. She's ultra-fast now. And 50% of the time, she walks 100% of the time. <coughs> as long as she can take us where we need to go, I guess. <laughs> that is part of being a girl, knowing that she wants and knows she'll get... Yeah. What I need you to get me my special range. I do it myself, but some magical barrier is blocking the entrance to Lava Caves, where my workshop is. If you can get the range, Scrap is yours for the journey. And you get me included at no extra charge. Okay. You got yourself a <laughs> so yeah, uh but my little princess, you know. I couldn't make that up. I just was staring at them. Like, did she just pry that thing back? Like, she pried it back. I couldn't believe it. I am terrified because she is so cute of the future. Because she is so adorable, but she knows what she wants. David has the same attitude I have. I don't like disappointing people. So when, um, you know, when someone's like, oh, I'm disappointed in you, you know, when I was a kid, it was like, you know, oh, man. And, you know, David, my son, David's like that. My daughter's not. My daughter it's like, I'm disappointed in you. Okay. And <laughs> That's, she's like, okay. And that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> What was that? More caves? Hello, darkness, my old friend. The lag is not on my end. It's not on my end. It's YouTube's end because I believe you everyone over on I Twitch, is there any lag on your end? It is handy. Although, please try not to burn yourself, at least not too badly. It would be a shame for the fun to be over so soon. Yeah, sorry, Michael Jude. Uh, uh, or not, sorry, uh, Radar O'Reilly. Sorry, I mis misread who said that. Um, 
Because uh, the seven viewers over on Twitch, have you guys been getting lagged too? Or has it been... Uh... She looks like me. Good luck. Good luck out of trouble. In fine sense. See, I don't. <laughs> YouTube switchy CEOs hence the lag. <laughs> yeah, it's that. No lag, just fun. See, yeah, it's it, it's that CEO latency problem. <laughs> Oh man, I can't wait for PAX this year. Oh man. I can't wait for PAX this year and I can't wait to do the, the big streams for PAX. Uh, we're going to be raising money again this year to help supply for the trip. But uh, I already have about five appointments already. I have five appointments and there are more each day coming in and requesting for me to go try games to... Um, go do some recordings and I am super pumped I am super excited I've been signing contracts and like uh, don't talk about this we're gonna be showing you this uh, hey we're gonna be showing you this it's like there's so much I'm so and I'm I'm pumped I cannot wait. I want to get a whole production. Awesome. You can come hang out with us at the uh, at the B and B if you want, uh, Caroline. So yeah, I am thrilled for PAX this year. Um, gonna be busy, 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 busy. But that's all right. Hey, Glaceon's been a member for seven months. Kangaroo time, CG? Yes, kangaroo time. Roo time. Kangaroo Badoo. Alright. Yakadoo. Alright. And roll. And over here. I feel fired up, Bob. Yeah, you see what I mean by like the, the issues of uh, Clive and Wrench, which I think is gonna be the game I'm gonna be playing tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be playing Clive and Wrench tomorrow as well. Punch. Woo! That actually, that actually is a lot better. The the boomerang effect is a lot better. How's Jonathan doing? He's doing really good. He is. I don't know what it is. Anybody who is okay. This is a very niche select of people. Anyone who's noticed babies born before the pandemic and after the pandemic. Has anyone noticed that their kids that are born after the pandemic are just like strong? Just like stupid strong? I, I don't know. The kid, he's coming up to seven months. I believe and he's almost crawling and he's almost literally and I'm not joking here lifting himself up and not like oh sitting up nicely no like almost like a full-on push-up a full-on push-up and I'm like what is this kid doing And apparently on TikTok, uh, there was this woman that was ranting about this. She had 
two kids before the pandemic and then one kid after the pandemic and her sister had one kid after the pandemic and all of them are just like super strong it's like goodness me beast mode activated yeah no kidding on the path <laughs> not so much <laughs> i was swimming in the bottom half and i get it tailored and fixed and so my son has ever so lovingly been blessed with stumpy legs so he's he's a short little guy hope on the other hand is a uh, long leg mcgee Like, she's getting close to, like, the same height as David, which is hysterical. If you guys are dealing with lag co consistently, and uh, you're getting really frustrated about it, you can always go over to the, twi over the Twitch side if you want. Because apparently Twitch has had no lag. I goofed that real bad. Got it, okay. Lay punch. That's how we do it, that's right. I don't know. I was weird. <laughs> Bruh, basically. Oof. Watch out. I have no words. Yeah, that's that happened. Stuff happened, apparently. Stuff and things apparently happened. So, I am noticing things that are fixed. I am noticing things that are fixed. However, I am also noticing things that are not fixed either. <laughs> Which is uh, a little unfortunate. There are, there are, like I said, there are some things fixed. I hope this is all gonna be worth it. <laughs> Woo! Ha-ha! 
Oh my gosh, I'm slowly just, it's sinking in. I'm slowly realizing that PAX is going to be in like two weeks. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see all my friends again. I can't wait to hang out. That, there we go. There we go. Got that. KO. And then we go shabam. And guess who's going to be at PAX this year? Nintendo. Nintendo is going to be back this year. And I am so psyched that Nintendo is, is back this year. Because that means that there is likely going to be a demo... They haven't confirmed it yet. They haven't confirmed it yet, but that means that they are likely going to have a floor and a demo for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Because what I'm going to do is during media hour, I'm going to get a line and actually play the game. And... Media hour is basically the only time you're probably going to be able to get to play the game because the lineups were just ridiculous last time Nintendo was there. Last time Nintendo was there was Animal Crossing New Horizons. The lineup for the game was, when I say stupid, I mean stupid. Like, it was capital S Stupid. Only gadget could come up with that. Like it was I didn't get to try uh Animal Crossing once. Not once. So all the times that I've gone there, Nintendo hasn't gone. Um and yes, Nintendo uh does go to PAX. Um they didn't go they went in 2019 which was animal crossing then nobody went in 2020 because pax was canned that year due to the pandemic and then 2021 they weren't there now i'm looking forward to actually doing the blogs this year last year i didn't do the blogs and the reason why was because um there was almost n not nothing but there wasn't a lot of games last year. To give you an idea, really, I played, I think, like two games last year. I don't even remember the one. The one game that I, I actually played was um, uh, KO, and that was it. That's really all that I played. Because there wasn't really much. There wasn't much there at PAX, right? Um... KO uh, last year there wasn't much but this year seems like a completely different um, ball game it seems like this year is going to be like no this year is take that smack smack I'm trying to remember what the one that I want. I, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember what it was last year. Not that necessarily it was bad, I, you know, but just didn't really catch my interest. Oh, um, I remember now. <laughs> I do remember now. It was SpongeBob, I believe. Or was that in 2019? That might have been 2019. I can't remember. I, remember, I can't remember if SpongeBob... Um, 
rehydrated was came out in came out in 2021 or 20 I can't remember I can't remember I remember playing it and reviewing about people being mad at me for it I'm trying to remember but I, maybe it wasn't 2022 no it, no it wouldn't have been 2022 no then what was it in 2022 I can't even remember I can't even remember but anyway um this year already I got like appointments for all these games Nintendo's gonna be there and I am so excited now if you guys don't know when Nintendo was there last time okay they had a booth that was two-sided the first there was one half and then the other half the front half was they had like three 4k projectors mounted above pointed down and they were projecting an entire beach and they had a whole section area off and they had people in mascot outfits as Isabel, as Tom Nook, as all and Villager and all the different characters and uh, 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 were there and there was music and you could go and you could interact and you could take photos. It was like a photo booth and it was massive. It was huge. Um, and I was just like, wow, this is super intense. This is super awesome. If they do the same treatment for Tears of the Kingdom this year, that booth is going to be insane. That booth is going to be nuts. See you there, Conky. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. Part of the reason why I'm so hyped. There's other games, too, that are being shown off. There's one game that I've been invited to that the art looks like the art direction of a Pixar film. Um, Staying Light? I can't remember what the game was called. I'm trying to remember what... I can't remember um, what... Uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of the game was. Um, Bati was going to be there, but they pulled out, unfortunately. Uh, I am hoping Activision is there with uh, Crash Team Rumble. I think that that would be super bomb. I haven't heard anything yet, so I don't know. That's why I'm thinking, like, uh-oh. But... Have you ever been demonetized? Uh, yes. Are you going to try to cl clog this year? Do you mean blog? D <laughs> I hope you mean blog and not clog because I don't want to clog anything. I don't want to clog the taps. I don't want to wear clogs. Vlog. Okay, vlog. There we go. Vlog. There we go. I'm going to clog you the wooden shoe, somebody. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my clog smack. <laughs> it's good, yeah? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. We will clog the toilets at the, the packs, yeah. <laughs> Hello, this is the plumber. Yes, my toilet is clogged. And <laughs> cuts to the toilet with just clogs. <laughs> it's such a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hello, my toilet is clogged. <laughs> it's got the doors. <laughs> toilet full of clogs. <sighs> oh gosh. <laughs> it was Billy's idea. <laughs> I just hear a Von Clutch. <laughs> I 
No, I just got the, the billy goats in my head. It was Billy's idea. Is that true, Billy? Okay, but vlog. Yes, I do intend on vlogging this year. Also, uh, I was so nervous last year getting um, Katie's cosplay all set up for um, Jinx. Oh, man. I was so nervous. I don't know who was more nervous, me or Katie. I couldn't... I'm not sure. We were both... Uh, she was nervous on her end. Uh, I was nervous on my end. Because I really, really, really wanted the... Uh, everything to go without a hitch I want everything to go well and um, of course she put the cosplay on I wasn't worried about Katie at all I was worried about the props I made I was like okay just hold I hope everything holds together I hope everything doesn't fall apart I hope that uh, you know everyone likes it I hope she likes it and then Katie walked out as Jinx and was one of the best Jinxes I've ever seen period in terms of cosplay that was just like awesome. Nailed it. Is Engine your favorite character for par par uh, parodying as a parody? Um, <clears throat> there's a couple character voices that I can do, and I always forget. I always forget I can do them until I just start like goofing around, and then it's like, oh yeah, I can do that voice too. There was um, you know. Um, you know, engine is always fun, yes. Um, Sparks is also cool, you know. That's always a fun one to do. Um. <laughs> do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! That's a, that's a fun one to do. <laughs> My wife and I will just uh, we'll just be like doing chores around the house. We've got everything we need. Powerful and uh a motorboat, enthusiasm. I'll be like cleaning the toilet or something. You look as enthusiastic <laughs> as Kaya when Mum tells her to clean her room. Anyway, let's go and meet Gadget. Forgotten something? No, but I was kinda hoping that you had Okay, okay. But it will be hard to say goodbye to Mama. And I don't think she'll be happy about me wearing these gloves. Come on, Elbow. Maybe, maybe not. Could surprise us. No, absolutely not. <laughs> but Mom, please. Don't mom me, K.O. Those gloves are dangerous. Walt, explain yourself right this instant. Um... Gloves. Maybe not as dangerous as I thought. <laughs> Maybe is not good enough. I've been wearing them for hours already and... What? I feel fine. They've actually been helpful. It's true. I was skeptical at first. They're different with KO. Work different than with... Hi, CG. It's actually Julie Libby. I was usually so coming on YouTube streams, good. but I kept on letting her LOL. I hope all is well. Hi, right, thank you. Thank you, Julie Liberty. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that it's all glitchy. Why does that never work? You need to watch less Tuk 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 Tuk. Tuk Tuk. You can't complain about it if you don't even know what it's called. Anyway, back to the point. I won't take those gloves away from you by force. So, Walt, it's on you. You better keep an eye on them. You have my word. All right. Do you promise you'll come back to me in one piece, K.O.? Of course, Mom. I promise. Aww. Then go. Give Jayabaya my love, hon. You should come with us, Mom. We can all be cracking and smacking them together. We'd be unstoppable. Someone needs to take care of the village. If I left it for five minutes, someone's going to take an arrow to the knee, and the next <coughs> show, there'd be no one to come back to. You'll be all right. You're K.O. the kangaroo. Mm. 
Anyway, um, so my wife and I will just be, uh, you know, doing chores around the house. I'll be, like, cleaning the toilet or something. And, you know, uh, I'll just be like, do you know the Muffin Man? And she, wherever she is in the house, wherever she is in the house, doesn't matter where she is. She, she'll respond with the Muffin Man, and I just scream, THE MUFFIN MAN! And the, the kids always get a kick out of that. Uh, the other one that's always fun to do is yeah, he man Meet Skeletor. Yeah, <laughs> that's always fun to do. Uh, did I find anything here? Uh, missing one jewel. Aha! Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. I love to read chat from the person that's on the other side of the map. <laughs> Maybe we should hold a celebration in favor of Kobe and Kaya's return. You can tell they're saying this because they're on the other side of the map. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Pinstripe with the FORGET ABOUT IT! Don't get, quite get the voice for Pinstripe. Oh yeah, you also got, you know, Crash. <laughs> you know, WOW! I'm doing well, Chris. How are you? Hey, KO. All right. The whole that's, but, but I did get that. We'll be ready to go. I, oh. I have enough. What do, you, what do you mean? What do you mean get enough? I. I have enough. Oh, do I? Oh, I, I... I don't talk to the captain. I talk to the boat. Yes. Yes, that's what we do. We don't talk to the captain that commandeers the boat or drives the boat. No, no, no. We... We talk to the boat itself. Yeah. A boat that... Logic is logical. I walked in on uh, my niece watching a video. She's like, oh, sh a video I haven't seen in years. I walk into the house and Carl, that kills people. And I just started laughing. I'm like, who showed my niece llamas with hats? Whoa! This is unlike anything I've seen before. Hungry jungle not look like this. Not last time. Look at that crystal. It seems to somehow power up the tree. Yes, and I feel powerful energy. Smell it. It's concentrated there. Powerful and dangerous. Same smell comes from the fruits. You'd better take a deep breath, coach. Cause that's also the smell of an exciting adventure. Let's go and find the famous Jayabaya. Oh hey! Look at you, oh, look, it's Mickey. fancy gloves on. You must be a serious fighter. Um and you're looking for the master, right? My stomach was Jayabaya? making the rumblies. The only hands could satisfy. 
What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I kill people and eat hands. That's two things. <laughs> Do you know where I can find him? You already have. I've got him right here. <laughs> no, not right here. Hush, 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 silly rabbit. I meant right here. So, which one do you want? Poker Jaya with posable arms? Fierce Jaya, Mini Jaya? Oh, this one is so cute. Just look at that adorable little face. We want different. Nine feet tall. Living and breathing. Also a fighting master. Uh, I'm afraid that one's not for sale. Know where he is? Would look on training ground. No longer see one. Well, of course not. It's all about the Jaya Bomb now. They don't need the training anymore. They just drink the juice and that powers them up instead. That sounds... disturbing. <laughs> to each their own. Look, I honestly don't know how to get to the boss. He's so busy that he's hard to reach these days. All about Jaya Bomb, you said? They produce the juice, too? Yes, yes, they have a whole factory in the Durian Valley. Wait, why are you asking? Idea. Jayabaya not want to be found? Let him find us. Kale, stop production of this drink. We need to. Not just because of silly name. But, but you can't. The <gasps> boss will be furious. Good. Okay, coach, whatever you say. Let's go then. It's clubbering time. <laughs> Maybe you can give it a second thought. Uh, sleep in it, perhaps? N no. Oh. Uh. I actually, I actually like his voice acting. His voice acting is kind of good. Yes. Tested. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Fast travel, yeah. That's uh we call that uh, you know, passive travel. I don't even got my hands on the controller and it's just doing its thing, you know, just uh, you know, making its way downtown, walking fast. Alex, may I ask? Am I homebound for 500? <laughs> Goodness me. Well, I know that when we go to the Durian Valley one of the first levels here is when the bug happens when the bell goes from a nice patonk to a pratink it's like ah my ears thank you i didn't want those Yeah, well, let, 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 yeah, let's watch the TMI, you know, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's, let, let's watch the, just keep an eye on that, everyone. We're all loving and kind here, but, uh, you know, a couple things that we don't want to hear about. <laughs> There's just some things best left unsaid. <laughs> Who needs ears? What? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want you people to know my social security number. I mean... Don't change it. 
don't change. <laughs> I won't. I will continue to be the same doofy me. <laughs> Listen, we we only want to hear about clogs if they are wooden and you wear them. <laughs> Any other clogs <laughs> leave for your doctor. Yeah, I see you uh um I see Aaron does stuff. Hi, I'm here. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry, I just saw, um, Well, exactly. This, this game is a platformer. A platforming... My phone apparently is going... I didn't even know my phone was... Is my phone down here? Yeah, apparently. My phone was down here. Yeah, I, I can... I'm, I'm not sure what you mean, but... Uh, can I see you again? I'm not sure what you mean. Like, I can see you on chat. <laughs> I'm gonna stop myself because I am. It's uh, it's gonna go bad. Uh, I have not played the Crudes. Oh my eye! All right. I will be right back. I gotta check in on my wife. Just make sure everything's okay, that the kids are sleeping, that everything's okay. So I'll be right back. I won't be too, too long. Just gotta go have a combo with the wife. Oh.
back. <sighs> hey, Snowpie and the Deer donated five dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, Snowpie and the Deer. Chug a chug and choo choo. I'm the big donation locomotive, steam train, engine, freight passenger, Thomas Polar Express, and stuff. Bull engine that that could train. Thank you. Thank you so much for the five dollars. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. All right. All right. Here we go. What's this? Me? No. On the other side of the map. Way over there. On the other side of the map. All right. So now we got over here. Roll, roll. Woohoo! All right. Now this is when the nice little save bell typically turns into a. Uh, not that. One serious production line of durian juice. No, can't believe it. it was one of the best fighters. Jayabaya clearly changed his field of expertise from smacking and punching to packing and chugging. Clearly lost his mind. No, no, no. Not. He needs to help us. Right. Well, he can't explain himself. All right, here we go. Okay. Doesn't destroy my ears. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good day, mate. My name is Kale the Kangaroo. <laughs> Come on. Got KO in his giraffe neck. From hello there, welcome to the game. Hmm? My neck. <laughs> and then we go a little bit like this. RC Cola probably a long time ago. I don't remember it being particularly, you know, old and fond of that. I'm very picky when it comes to pop. I don't like the off-brand pops. I'm not like a... Oh! Instead of Sprite, it's Lemon Zest Paradise. No, I'm good. Sprite or 7-Up, please. I prefer Sprite. Or, it's not Dr. Pepper. It's Dr. Zip. That's not that's not a joke. In a local store, we have Dr. Zip. 
It's like Dr. Zip. Okay. Yeah, that's uh That's what I want. Dr. Zip. Here. Go on. Prove it to you. On. Here it is. Compliments, Brand. <laughs> Compliments. Dr. Zip. <laughs> it's like, you didn't even try. You didn't even attempt. <laughs> Doctor Exhibit A. <laughs> Doctor Thunder, is there really a Doctor Thunder? That is hilarious. Hello, I'm Dr. Thunder. Uh, oh no, wrong button. <laughs> well, um, calculated. <laughs> I meant to do that. Just to, you know, show how awesome my skills are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That was, uh... That was, uh, totally intentional. What happens if I keep pressing Y? Boing, 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 boing. Man, how strong are KO's ears, man? Monkeys! Dr. Cortex, I thought we were gonna get new animals! We still are dealing with the monkeys! And the filthy bandicoots! Yes! How's it so far? It's pretty, it, it's pretty good. Um, definitely some bugs that have not been worked out, but some bugs have, which is nice. Chaboya! <laughs> Bleach soda. Yes! You can try my new creations. The b -b 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 Bleach soda.
How many subs to convince you to get the purple rocks? Well, we're, I want to hit the 100,000 mark. I really do. Um, but I feel like maybe 500,000? Maybe? That would be pretty uh, That would be pretty cool. All right, let's go. Who done it? Here, <laughs> the boom. Yes, one hundred thousand has entered the dumpster fire stream. That is correct. For twelve hours straight. And 100,000 is a, uh, 100,000 is a very, like, uh, is a very special number. <laughs> well, Luigi, <laughs> open the door, wow, Luigi, <laughs> Hitting 100,000, though, is, and really getting that, um, getting that plaque. Getting that, getting that valid, that validation of hitting a hundred thousand, you know, that, that climb, that grind, that push, that, um, that hope that, uh, you know, something to hold on for, you know, it's something that is, it's something that I've really been looking forward to. You know, it's something that I have hoped and something that I have pushed for. And I, I think I know where I'm going to put it because typically people put in their backgrounds. I'm either going to put it there, but there's another place I was thinking about putting it. There's a spot right up there. Right there. The reason why I want to put it there is so that whenever I feel like down and upset, I can look up and realize like, hey. And then I want to also explore, you know, making secondary channels and, you know, making up, you know, other content and other kinds of content, right? There was an idea that I pitched to, um, to Katie and she thought it was a good idea and, you know, something that I thought would be cool for us to work on together was we want, we were thinking about making like a, like a Pokemon channel and, uh, what's cool is that Katie really likes diving and digging into like the, um, like the story aspect of Pokemon, like, you know, especially the human aspect. And that's something that I don't hear a lot about. And I like the the mechanical aspect. Like I love the, uh, for me, my favorite thing to do is for Pokemon is also shiny hunt, but also find like, um, and like, you know, show Pokemon breeding and stuff like that and I always thought that that stuff was really cool and I was like hey you know if we both work on this if we both can make something out of this I think this would be a kind of a cool channel and you know the other night you guys saw us stream together um Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and you know you saw that you know in my opinion we worked well like really well together and um you know, it, you know, there's a really good, uh, you know, repertoire there and a really good combo. And, you know, I think that, you know, it would be a really cool idea for a channel. And we, I think that that would be really cool. And I'm excited. I'm excited for that aspect because then it's like, okay, I can dabble. I can dabble more than just Crash and Spyro because then I also can put my uh, branding on this new channel. And when I put the branding on this new channel, um, YouTube will recognize, oh, it's under the same uh, Google account, right? It'll look at it and be like, oh yeah, this account is under the same account as the other account for Google. 
and it'll be much easier to be verified. All right. Ow. Shibuya. What's going on with the audio? What do you mean what's going on with the audio? Is any, anyone else getting audio issues? But yeah, it's stuff like that where, you know, I can make other content as well. And if I wanted to take a break from one channel to focus on another, I can do that now, right? I, I, can, I could do that, right? Or if I wanted to sit down and be like, hey, listen, uh, you know, I want to make Canadian Gaia maybe only release one or two videos a month, but they're high, very high quality, like very, very, very high quality. It's like, hey, you know, all the, you know, it's really emphasized. It's really nice. And then I can really start figuring out the brand and the channel. Hey, Lonely Goomba. And when I hit 100,000 subs, that's what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for that lifestyle where, you know, I can dabble and try different things. And we're getting there. Has the game been improved much? Um, a, a little bit? Um, there are definitely still prominent issues. I would say about... A lot of the audio, a lot of the audio bugs are fixed. Let me say that, all, like basically all the audio bugs are practically fixed, which really good. Um, some of the visual bugs are fixed as well. Um, but beyond that, um, I also noticed that uh, the the enemies maybe that's just me, but the enemies seem a little bit harder. Like, the AI seems improved. They're not quite as dopey. Just a little bit. Not a significant amount. And it might, it, I might even be wrong for thinking it. But I think that the enemies are... You see, you get little stuff like that still. Ah, that was my bad. I had to jump and spin. I just went to punch him. Oh, come on. And again, for me, the, this game never had, like, massive game-breaking bugs, right? This game was always just, like, you know, little tiny bugs, but they were everywhere. So, of course, with there being an improvement on that, that's good. But, of course, you know... Like, let's see if this... Oh, oh, why did I... That was that was weird on me. Hey, Mystic, how's it going? You excited for PAX? Oof. Come on. There we go. Get out of here. So for the first time this year, uh, for going to PAX, I am going to be flying in. Which is, uh, that's going to be new for me. And I'm not scared of flying. I... I actually enjoy flying. Shoot. My big thing is like, I, oh, where's Pax? Pax is in Boston. 
Uh, my big thing for like uh, travel is just making sure I get on the flight and I get to my gate. Once I get there, once I get to my flight, once I get to my gate, once I know where I am, then I calm right down. I'm a little bit, I'm a little nervous when uh, getting to my gate, right? Trying to make sure that uh, I'm at the right place at the right time. That's where I'm a little, I have a little bit nerves. But once I figure everything out where I know where my placements are, I'm like, okay, I'm good. And the actual flight itself is, you know, kind of cool. I love the concept of you walk into the airport at one city, you're in the airport for like six hours, just chilling, typing, relaxing, and then all of a sudden, bang, the all of a sudden, bang, you hop on a plane. And you have to think about it. It's like the doors close. You sit down on the flight for less than two hours. Then the do doors open and you're in a completely new place. You know, it's just like the idea of that is just really cool. In my opinion, I think that that is a really, really just interesting and exciting thing. It's just super cool, man. I never imagined myself flying. You can! Why not? That's a fear that you have to conquer. Yeah, if you sleep, it's like a... Yeah, exactly. If you fall asleep, it's like a loading screen. You just kind of, you know, close your eyes. Actually, I did that on my flight back from... Oop. I did that, um... Now... <laughs> I will say, though, there is a wrinkle in this year's plan. So, Katie wants to cosplay as Jinx again, right? There's a problem. I have to get on to the flight. And I have to put this <laughs> for the luggage. Uh, yes. This is Pow Pow, which is Jinx's main weapon. I have to actually remind myself to repair it, make sure everything's tightened. Um, <laughs> so, I have, <laughs> I have to figure out how to explain to the people. Now listen, there's not a minigun. Don't worry. It's a prop. It's not, it's not real. It's like, oh gosh. So I got to figure out a way to, uh, because I mean, but if you think about it, you know, people, you know, people, but think about it, right? How, how, if someone is a legal gun owner, right? And they need to go on a plane. How, how would they transfer it? Right. And, you know, people, you know, people, you know, from movie, th you know, people from movies, you know, they they get their stuff, you know, flown around all the time, right? I mean, you would have to. I feel like it's an obvious, not real though. Yeah, you see, that's the thing is that it's not like a um, it's not like it looks realistic. Right? It's a prop. So that's where I'm just like, okay, I just got to make sure that I communicate with everybody. Let everybody know that, you know, hey, this ain't real. This is just a prop. Oof. Lockbox... Uh, and goes under the plane. 
thing ammo needs to be secured separately and you have to pick it up from security not baggage claim yeah okay see that's what i mean is that like so you know people they move you know people i, I keep messing that up well i got it but you see, I wouldn't be putting this through the x-ray. I would be like, uh, when I do the baggage check, I would be putting the bag there and I would explain to the person there, hey, when I go, and then when I go to security, you know, they're just going to be checking my carry-on. Ow. I mean, it doesn't help, though, that I'm going to have the evil villain Curly stash. It probably doesn't help. Well, here's the big thing, is that I need to be able to make sure that I... Because, you know, uh, Katie is relying to be able to make sure that I bring that prop. Right? So, and also, you know, I built that by hand. I don't... I don't want them to take it away and be like, you know, no, you're not, uh, you're not allowed to have that. And be like, but, but I built that. I put a lot of hours into that. That was hard. And it was hard. Whee. Oh, well, that's not fixed. So what I am going to do is that um, I'm going to contact probably the airport beforehand and let them know and be like, hey, uh, how do I do this? Is there something that I can fill out? There might be like a, a form that I have to fill out. I don't think it does symbol. It does. It does dis disassemble. I built it that way to be able to disassemble, but I don't really want to disassemble because uh, 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 the 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 bolt. I, I have a carriage screw, and it's like this long. That's kind of like the spine of the entire thing. It's a, just a giant carriage screw, and I don't really want to take it out. If I can help it. Like, if I have to, I will. If I have to take it out, I will. Um, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna. Because <laughs> that gets, uh, that gets annoying to reassemble. You know what I mean? That gets annoying to assemble. Yes, tape it to my leg. Well, you see, also what I would have to do is that I would have to also bring my tools with me too, right? I have to bring my, bring my tools to make sure that I can, you know, if anything were to happen, I can fix it while at the, at the con. I can fix it! Which, luckily, I could. <laughs> Is that a giant novelty gun in your pocket? I just have to see. <laughs> Yay! Ah, I forgot. The fire. Can this, like, bomb, like, go somewhere else, please? I don't think weight is going to be an issue. I don't think weight's going to be a problem. Because I can bring everything almost already with a carry-on. Like, if, like, if I want the packs with um, an over-the-shoulder bag and a backpack, and that was all that I brought, I would be fine, right? So, Pow Pow is only going to take about half of, uh, about half of the suitcase, right? 
but yeah, no, I, I'll, I'll contact them. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to contact them and be like, Hey, um, I want to make sure that we're all safe and all cool. I have a novel, you know, I have a prop that looks like a cartoon minigun. It's not a real minigun. It's a, it's just, it's a cartoon, right? I'll just, I'll dumb it down and be like, it, it's like a Looney Tunes, it's like a Looney Tunes minigun. And it's a prop for a costume. I need to get through uh, what would be the best method to be able to get through TFSA. And then go from there. It doesn't shoot at all. Actually, I that's uh you can't use um you cannot use uh at the convention you cannot use any weapon that shoots any kind of projectile. They won't even let you bring in a nerf gun. That is no. They won't they won't even let you bring a nerf gun into PAX East. No airsoft guns, no nerf guns. And it sucks, but also I get it because like uh uh, you know, people can, I mean, could you imagine being shot square in the eye by some rando person with the Nerf gun? There are, have you seen some of these modern day Nerf guns? I bought this little $13, um, Nerf gun for David and I was like, okay, time to have fun. Ha ha. Little, little, you know, fun, little Nerf gun. And I shot it and. Uh, just to test it, and it fired across my house. It, like, almost smashed the TV. You know, I was expecting this little pew for, like, you know, you know, basically eight American dollars. Just a cute little Nerf gun. It wasn't even called Nerf. It was, like, Action Force. I'm like, yeah, pff, it's uh, not even off-brand. No, you, you just, you just pull the trigger, and the thing just fires across the room. I'm like, oh, okay. And David played it for all of 10 minutes until um, until Hope shot him in the butt once and he started screaming and crying. So... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the water guns is so much pressure. It's like a power washer. You can use that thing to like clean out your... Clean the car with. I remember I, sh I showed it to uh, my dad. I remember I was like, hey, dad. And he's like, oh, it was a cute little gun. And I fired it. I went outside and I fired it over like, a, like we have like, uh, my dad has like, like two acres and it fired half an acre. He's just like, <laughs> how much did you spend on that thing? I'm like, $13 Canadian after tax. He's like, all, all right. Needless to say, we had to take the toy away. So, but anyways, yeah, that's kind of why they don't let people have any sort of uh, thing that shoots anything. Because uh, you can shoot someone's eye out. Even if it's just, you know, a nerf gun. But it wasn't like a big gun, it was like a pistol. That's, it was just a cute little pistol. I was, I was like, okay, this is fine. Cute little pistol nerf gun. Thing f like fires an acre, oh, half over half an acre, and we're all just sitting there like, uh. <laughs> My wife was like, "What did you buy them?" Hey, Bubba, how's it going? You ready to get, uh... That was easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Hey! Well, I'm fine. I'm the old me. No need to thank me. My gloves have superpowers. I wasn't about to thank you. You kicked my butt. No, I will just... There we go. Yeah, I got the rune. Yay! I got the thing. This way. We got everything. Yeah, there we go. All right, next. Grab all the, all the coins, all the things. See another gem over there. You think like a sprint like spiral would make this a little bit faster? Maybe. All right, let's buy the hot container. Please only have one more. No! Outfit. This is the outfit I think I used on the majority of my review playthrough, I believe. Might be wrong, but I think it is. I have been thinking about doing um, banjo. <sighs> okay, here we go. I remember this level was pretty buggy before. Hey, you shouldn't be here. Show me your badge. Why does he have the the name Ed, but his name is Gooba? Why can't he just be named Ed, like what his name tag says? Ah, well, that bug is still there. Notice there's no music. Wow, oh, how exciting and thrilling. Oh, now it starts. At least that bug's fixed. It's a beat. Someone slap a someone slap a sick beat on there because apparently the game has been missing music. Kabooey! Okay, we're good. Uh, X. Woo! I need the fire on the gloves. What? Okay. 
I guess I, I broke it a little bit, apparently. Oh, by the way, I, I mentioned this the other day, but I finally beat God of War Ragnarok. Finally. Goodness me. I had been so busy, I hadn't been able to finally sit down. And I find, I'm i really super psyched because I finally finished that game. Now I can avoid the spoilers and not get ruined for it. So it's like, yes, finally! I'm happy! And, uh... Yeah, just like the first game. It was a good game. It was a very good game. Very much enjoyed it. I don't know if I... But, like, when you try to compare it to, like, the first one, it's hard It's hard to compare. How long was the main quest line for that? Probably a good... For me, like... If you did none of the side quests, it probably would have been around... 32 hours, but because I was doing side quests as well, I was more like 38, 39 hours. I still got stuff I gotta finish too. I'm not, I'm like, I'm not done, not done, done, but I beat the main story. Yeah, if you, if you ever want to see a really... If you got, like, an hour... Or you got, like, two hours to burn... Look up uh, the, the documentary for when they made God of War. And it was really cool. What my favorite part is... Do you guys remember... Okay. Back in 2016, which was arguably probably PlayStation's... One of their best presentations literally ever. It's when they announced Crash Insane. It's when they announced God of War 20, uh, 2018. It's where they revealed Spider-Man. It's where they revealed Days Gone. 20 PlayStation's um, E3 performance 2016 was ridiculous. It was probably one of the most stacked shows ever in like gaming history was Sony's 2013 PAX or not PAX, uh, uh, E3 show that show was ridiculous like I said it was Crash Insane um, uh, Spider-Man it's where they revealed Spider-Man where they revealed God of War. It's where they had a live orca orchestra playing through uh, m most of the show. It's where they had the live orchestra um, playing the God of War music and not pre-recorded. I think it's called Raising Kratos. I think that's what the documentary's name is. It is a really, really, really good documentary. It talks about from the beginning, like, okay, where did they start? What happened with Santa Monica? The struggles and the problems. Um, the fact that, like, God of War was, you know, shifted, like, like 18 months early. It was super, like, the... Uh, like the schedule because Santa Monica was working on their own original sci-fi game for th three, four years and the game fell through. Right? The game completely fell through and they had to can the game. And now they were like, okay, it's time. Okay, well, we don't want idle hands. We don't want people just sitting around doing nothing. So let's get them started on God of War. The next God of War that Corey's been working on. And Corey's sitting there. He's just like, we aren't done yet. We're... Didn't expect to get you guys for another six to eight months, right? And Corey's freaking out, the, the director, right? And he's trying to get everything done. And he's also showing, like, his nerves and stuff. He's showing his... The, the documentary shows, like, how nervous he is going through the game. Uh, the parts where he's, like, really super hyped and other times where he's super nervous and other times where he's, like... You know, he's talking with his team and he's frustrated and he's mad about something, right? 
and he's just like no this can't be happening this shouldn't be happening it's like okay um you know they were showing an interview they're like all right so or um a meeting they're like okay so by if we were following our our schedule by the point that we're at now we should be less than 30 massive game breaking bugs like game breaking bugs that are ending the demo crashing it killing it and um or not allowing the player to progress like they should be under 30 game breaking they're like yeah we have like 382 right now and then the the talk of the delay right you know the talk about the delay of the game and what they have to do and how they can ship it and what needs to be done and um it is a really, really, really good documentary. It's like for it's like t two hours long, and it's on YouTube. It's called Raising Kratos. And uh, my favorite scene is when they are. Uh, my favorite bit is where they're showing the day of E3, and you know how it works, and Corey setting up to do the live gameplay, and the nerves, and you know. The reaction from the people because there is I like hearing people react like that I do I love hearing that like I'll sit there and watch God of War 2018 reveal reactions all day all day and it sounds weird but there's something really not intoxicating but something really fun about seeing people react that way seeing people explode and be so excited for me it's you know like if I were to have made a game and the announcement happened I would be focused on looking at the audience more than I would be looking at the trailer I'll be honest because I want to see in my mind it's like okay I want them I want them to get an emotional reaction at this point did I get it or did I not get it and if I did or didn't why right or yeah end game theaters opening weekend yeah yeah we did that was that was uh oof I remember that Spider-Man 2 Spider-Man as well. Oh man, the Hey Thunderfro. Oh oof. It was a lot of fun watching the CT Rumble reactions. Oh yeah, absolutely. My reaction was just like, I wasn't wrong! I am not crazy! <laughs> It was there the whole time. People didn't believe me. People doubted me. But the doomsayer was right. <laughs> the crazy Canuck was right. Yeah. Vindication. That's exactly right, Sierra. That was my favorite Canadian. I'm your favorite Canadian? Thank you. Uh, it wasn't... So, the story goes from what I've heard was that it was shelved due to what was... due to the pandemic and due to Call of Duty literally drowning. And so, all hands on deck screened by Call of Duty and that's kind of where Toys for Bob had to go and do it, so. I want to call this band Cow since the spelling and the loud language is similar to it. Le Cow, Le Moo. How you doing, Stanley? I hope you're having a good night. And I hope you are doing well. There we go. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, a lot of people call it, you know, cow. It's a KO. 
Ah, that's fair. That's fair, Thunderfro. That's fair. That's fair. But I, I felt, you know, when when Rumble was revealed, I was so happy because it was like, oh my gosh. The amount of the amount of slander and the amount of hate, oh my goodness. No worries, Stanley. Hang out, enjoy yourself, chill. Have yourself a good time. Hear me rant and scream. As usual. <laughs> but you already know that. Woo! But yeah, if Spyro, if and when Spyro 4 gets revealed, I'm going to feel really like psyched about that. I'm going to be so hyped. Because if Spyro 4 comes out again, I'd be like, yes! The other thing that people said I was wrong about. It was also right. And then bonus would be if Sly Cooper gets revealed this year. If Sly Cooper gets revealed this year. I'm just going to be like, I did it. As vindicated as for Rumble. So I don't know about that. Because I feel like there was there's a lot more people believe that a new Spyro was going to come over Rumble. Right? Because again, and I explained this before. Ah, yes. Good music. Um, if Rumble was revealed to not be a multiplayer crash game, um, then I would have still been wrong. That's the thing. Because if it would have just came out as a, a regular old crash game or a crash game that didn't have a multiplayer aspect to it or a, a multiplayer focus... All my points about Wumpa League, oh, come on, would have been wrong. So I still would have been wrong. But that's what was so cool about that was that it was exactly as I was saying. It was a multiplayer. It was that multiplayer crash game. I still remember when I saw the trailer, when I finally saw the trailer and seeing Crash's eyes and then seeing all, and I remember I was yelling, I was like, come on, multiplayer, be multiplayer, come on. And lo and behold, it was. Oh. Well. That was unfortunate. Really? I'm legitimately like having a hard time seeing that. Oh, because the point of view was supposed to get switched around, but it didn't. Thank you, game. Thank you. Ah, yes. Apparently. Apparently, music no longer exists. Hmm. This looks like a manager's office. Maybe that's someone who can help me. The manager? Ugh. 
it is 10.46. I'll, I'm probably going to finish this level and then switch to Q&R because if I switch to another level, I won't be able to get it done in time, you know? Ah, yes, how climactic this is. Ah. Uh, you know, this is a little bit unfortunate. I'm, I'm going to admit, this is a bit unfortunate because... It felt... I, I would have thought... That the game would have had more updates by now. And, you know, the bug fixes would have been more thorough. And... Though some of them are, they're not anymore. What happened to your old animated intro? So the the animated intro went away to be able to save time for people that want to just get to the video. Because, oh, oh wait, buddy should give me a, a rune, right? I would think. Thanks, lazy. No escape from here, you. Oh, okay. I love the animated intro too, and I want to see if I can figure out if there's another way that I can implement it. Um, but one of the things is, is that, uh, you know, looking at like the, the YouTube graphs and stuff, people were skipping that intro all the time. Everybody was according to those graphs. Everybody was skipping the intro, just gone. And it was kind of like, well, if like 30% of my audience is skipping the intro, right? 30, 40% of my audience is skipping the intro. Why have it there? Right? You said it's being a stream. I, I like that. I like that idea. I love that idea. And yeah, I've, I've decided to show my face more because I like the intro. I love the intro too. I didn't want to get rid of it. But the problem is, is that like when 30% of your total audience just goes poof, gone. Well, it's kind of like, what do you do, right? Do you say outrageous and just you know tell them suck it up or do you try to listen do you try to listen to that 30 percent of your audience like okay what's going on right and that's what i felt that i was doing was i'm trying i was trying to trying to listen to what a large portion of my um audience is saying right because that's a big thing that you want to be able to listen to be able to what your audience is saying. So, all right. So I think it's a good time to switch to Q&R. I think this is a good, good moment. Uh, give me a second to get the timer set up. We shall get started. I don't skip the intro. And I understand. I know a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, you know, if you are here, if you are watching right now, you probably don't skip the intro, right? But my videos on average... The videos on average, um, videos on average hit between, you know, 15 to 20,000 views, right? And if 30% of the people are just skipping it, and I noticed I did a test what I did too, um, intro skippers might be outsiders. One third, one third, but the thing is, is that... I've noticed that uh, more people are holding on the retention ever since I removed the intro. People are watching more of the video, typically, right? And it's working because before it would drop to like 64% and it wouldn't recover and it would go down from there, right? But now at that same point when the video starts, we're still staying at around 72%. And the decline is a much slower. It's hooking the people faster, right? Sonic Blade donated $5 super chat. What do you think is the most uh, 
underappreciated 3D platformer in your opinion? Ooh, 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 that's a tough question. Underappreciated 3D platformer. Underappreciated. Most of the platformers that I enjoy are actually very, like, appreciated. A lot of people really like them. Um, of course, Spyro and Crash, but, you know, they're always appreciated. Um... Underappreciated. Hmm. Jumping Flash. Jumping Flash. I think Jumping Flash was an absolute blast. It was a weird test. It was like a weird demo test for the PS1. And that game was phenomenal. It was so much. It's actually on. Uh, it's actually on the PlayStation um, uh, Classics catalog if you want to get access to it. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. It is a first person, it's a 3D first person shooter kind of platformer for the PlayStation 1. It's arcadey. It's almost it it's got almost like aspects of like Doom to it. It is very unique. It is a very 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 unique game and almost nobody talks about it. Almost nobody talks about Jumping Flash. And I really, really liked Jumping Flash, and I still do. I still love Jumping Flash. The music is really good. Um, it's very nostalgic. It's very, it's very, very, very cool. And I almost feel like not a lot of people talk about it anymore. Not a lot of people talk about it. Yes, yeah, he might. Have, ooh, interesting choice. Yeah, I know, right? Like, uh, like when was the last time you heard someone talk about Jumping Flash? Never heard of Jumping Flash. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Jumping Flash was one of those... Get, make video. I might. I might make a video about it, right? Never... Okay, hold on. Maybe what I'll do is that maybe I will just pull up a quick video for you guys because... Uh, it is... It is a very unique game. It's not... Um, it's not your typical... Like I said, it's like a 3D first-person... Very strange, but very cool. Uh, hold on. It's a first... Yeah, it's a first-person platformer. And it came out... It was, like, one of the launch titles. Where, like, if you bought a PlayStation 1, day one, you could buy... This title kind of came with... Kind of came with the game. So just a world of long plays. Thank you so much. Uh, just a just a quick example here, but uh, here was the game. It was right. So you looked around, right, and you, Mrs. Joker. Long time no see. How are you doing? Right, and this was a um... this very. It is very. It's got like these whole big worlds, and you're supposed to be able to. Uh, it's been for I know. Where have you been? All right. Oh, I know. I can. I could easily stream it. I could easily stream it now because it's on the PlayStation catalogs. I would just I could play it on my PlayStation Five, right? Um, yeah, I mean, like it is fun. Like that game is fun. That game was fun as a kid. So a lot of people are like, "Yeah, never heard of that game," and it is a legitimate blast.
what happened to games such as Gex 2 and Ape Escape? Um, so, there, I, I do want to get back to Gex. I do want to get back to Gex. Um, just kind of lost track of it, right? Ape Escape, I was noticing a lot of people were not watching it. I was looking at, um, I was looking at like the data and the stats and a lot of people were not quite like interested in Ape Escape in terms of live streams. It doesn't mean that there's no interest in the game. Just like there's not a lot of people that are interested in watching a full playthrough. Right. I do want to get back to Gex. Um, I just, I think at the time for Gex, I got busy with something. And then I just, it just kind of went on the back burner. So I do want to get back to that. I do want to get back to that. I don't know if we'll get back to Ape Escape because like I said, a lot of people were not thrilled with the Ape Escape or at least weren't really pushing for engagement. Um... Gex Escape. What about Klonoa? Klonoa was... Uh, Klonoa was another one of those weird streams where either the engagement was really good or it was not great at all. Really weird. So Klonoa 2 is on a big mystery. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, also, yeah, it made me mad. It also made me mad too, that's right. Love your special. Thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, Silver. You see, I, I, I feel bad because it's like... It's a... Live streaming with the, our, the, the games that we play, right? Here's the here's the weird thing with live streaming these games and how everything works is having a cross section of things that people want to watch, things that I want to play and things that will keep people engaged, right? And having all three tied together and working in tandem it's difficult, right? YouTube is hard because it's hard to make content of outside what's currently relevant. That is correct. Yes. And as somebody who talks about content that can be considered as irrelevant until since December, which Crash Team Rumble is now considered relevant again, um, my channel is very much dedicated to things that are not necessarily trending, right? My channel is not a trend follower. It is, it has, it's a niche. It's a niche channel, right? And that's fine, and it's, but it's a niche channel that's growing more and more, right? So I'm very, very, very grateful as I look at other really good Crash and Spiral YouTubers, and there are varying sizes. So I feel very, very, very blessed to be able to um, have a channel of the size that it is right now and be a pretty niche channel, right? I'm not a Fortnite channel that took off. I'm not a Minecraft channel that took off. I'm a Crash and Spyro and Classic Platformer um, channel. And I haven't even delved all the way deep, as deep as Crash and Spyro into other places as well. But on YouTube, it's hard to be able to... If I were to release a Crash or Spyro video outside of when it isn't relevant, the chances of a video during its time of being irrelevant, growing past six digits, like going up to like a hundred thousand views is unlikely. It's unlikely, right? Um, the best that you will probably get is probably um, 50, 60,000 views, right? Getting past that, um,
getting past that's really difficult, right? That's why I really appreciate Patreon support because it makes more varied content more viable financially. At least, yeah, no, absolutely, and I, I agree with that. I do agree. Patreon does help. Um, unfortunately, I don't rely as uh, the everyone currently on my Patreon. It's out of the freedom of their heart, and but they do get merchandise after one or three months. Yeah, after three months, they get a piece of merch, and it supports the channel, allows me to be able to keep doing it full time, which is amazing, and I'm beyond grateful to everything that they do right and right now i'm at a point where i need a not a manager but you know a full-time producer to or at least a part-time producer to help me handle things because sometimes i will get sometimes 50 60 important emails per day and I'm spending two hours a day answering emails. I'm not even editing. I'm answering emails, right? Um, where can you apply? What do you mean, where can you apply? Um, for Patreon? And I mean, I'm looking for a new job. <laughs> for a new job. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Um, you see, but that, that, that is the problem is being able to pay somebody a good wage, right? Cause I don't want to pay pe someone peanuts. I want to be able to pay people a good wage. Right. So it's answering those bloody emails. It's, um, doing research and then finding a dead end. Uh, where's your secretary? <laughs> you see, cause it, it is weird. It is. Uh, and then it's like also keeping, uh, keeping it, uh, like on brand and making sure that I'm doing, uh, brand deals and stuff. It is, it's hard, right? So what I want to do is that when I hit, that's why I want to hit that magical, magical 100,000 subscriber base because it's absolutely like terrible. So yeah, kind of Sierra. What's that motion program you shared the other day? So yes, motion is a program that I have been hired as a creative advisor to help with. Um, I am currently slated as creative advisor. Um, so Basically, um, either once or twice a week, they gave me a call and I sit down, we develop a game plan for their channel and for the program. And what motion is, is that it's motion spelled without the first O is a virtual clubhouse that allows you to build whatever you want. Um, I think it'd just be best if I just showed you guys the, uh, actual, um, video. So, the Emotion Studio, here we go. So, here is the basic concept of the, um, the basic concept of the company is... That you are going to want... So, this was the, you can have a pre... Like, um, space, you have a pre-built space, you can have a, um, a custom space the way you want it. You can build, you can build whatever you really want. You can come up with, um, little areas here you can adjust and you can, it's can be for streaming. It could also be for, um, not just streaming, but also um, creating content, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can and you can show where your cameras are. You can show where certain things go, and it is a really, really interesting program that's going to help people be able. So whether they're VTubers, whether they are um, regular YouTubers, 
however they want to do. It also has Stream Deck support, so you can change your camera and just like kind of zip around to wherever you want. What can we expect to see one of these streams? So, one of the problems right now that is that motion doesn't support at the moment. It it will though, but at the moment, as it's still early, motion doesn't support. Um, 60 frames right now it's locked at 30 so everything that goes in it no matter if the footage that goes in is 30 or 60 it comes out as 30 so I mentioned and allows you to be able to create whatever it is that you want right um you know and I think that that is something that's super cool like here you know maybe I'll actually I'll show you my space my room and um then I will maybe uh, she has my space. So we'll kind of like zip around it because it is cool. It is very cool, actually. So this is basically the space that was custom made for me. It is um, an area that is all I was going for very much a um like a realm of beauty a realm that is very relevant to like you know old ancient platformers so it was i thought of like runes of like uh old platforming areas that's kind of like some of the camera views um you can see some spyro gems floating around got a dragon head up there there's stuff way up there too Looks like a spiral. Yeah, it kind of does look like this, but you can see over here, you see kind of the crates from like Crash Bandicoot, right? And what's cool is that you can kind of set everything up the way that you want it. So you can take a look at the different views. You can take a look at what a preview window looks like. You can adjust and transform. You can move stuff around. And uh, yeah, this is like, like, it's like, yeah, this is my space, right? So, um, you can see here, this is like the preview window. So this is like, oh, this is what everybody kind of sees is this window. So it's like, okay, let's go to camera view one. That's camera view one, camera view two, right? Camera view three, and you can set it up however you want as this big virtual space, right? Go there, go, go wherever you want, right? And what's cool is that I can add or remove assets as I want. I can add photos, I can... Um, I can add, I can remove, and this is a space to be able to stream from, right? So what you would do is you would set something up like, I don't know, you go over here. And yeah, it's basically you would literally, this is how you would stream. And uh, it would be like, this is your space. And yeah, that's kind of what, you know, the company approached me is working on and they're very excited and they're a passionate group of people and you can get a whole bunch of different kinds of rooms and stuff where you can stream from. And I think it's super cool. So yeah, that is kind of the, uh, What's the application? So the application here is creating a space while you are streaming. And right now there's going to be more stuff that's going to be coming out in the future that is going to be super cool. Uh, right now it's just like a space to be in. But in the future, one of the things that I suggested and it is what they're calling the interaction package is that you know how you, you know when you play Jackbox, you go on your phone and you could... Uh, give answers. So it's like, okay, I, I made it for quiplash. I can answer and do stuff. Right. But, or maybe you're the audience. You can choose, which is the better answer. Well, there is a package that is in development at the moment that we're calling the interaction package, which is you can actually interact with the environment that you're in. The audience can interact with the environment. So let's say you're sitting there, you have things set up and let's say you could be like, all right, um, if someone donates $5, we can have balloons drop from the sky and, it, and they float around the motion studio space 
until the stream ends. Or it could be like, hey, um, there could be a game where like there's a whole bunch of li- like Christmas lights set up and viewers can change the colors of the lights. So while you're streaming, it's like, boop, 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 it would change, right? Is this like a VR thing? It can be used for V. It can be not necessarily just for VR, but it also can be for VR as well. I believe that is another issue, another thing that can also be a thing where the streamer could be sitting in the space with a VR headset on. That's another uh, practical use for it. Um, and it can be up to the streamer to decide what they want to do. Right? They can have um, certain interactions and they can program it the way that they want to and it could be like oh um change the lights uh from night to day right so it's like oh all of a sudden you got a day and night cycle right uh or you could be like hey when x happens this happens right um and you can have 3d models in the engine as well so you can even trigger animations where like maybe maybe you have a cute little character right? Standing by as you're streaming. And then when somebody does something, the character reacts a certain way and you programmed it that way. Um, you can have multiple people into to the area and you can do, you can be a VR tuber. You can do, there's a lot of applications. There's a lot of really cool uses that can be used for this program. And again, it's going to be a lot more open so that people, it's a tool that's going to go out there. It's going to be like, all right, let's see. Does it run on Unity? It is. It is based off of Unity. Yes, it is a... Um, you can put in any Unity asset that you want and it will operate and work as a Unity asset. And it is a... It's a cool... It's a cool idea and I really enjoyed it and that's why I'm on as a creative... Um, as a creative um, advisor, right? And the interaction aspect is really, really cool. Of course, I mean, any tool can get chaotic at that point, right? Um, but then you can program it. Like, you'd be like, oh, yeah, uh, only uh, only um, can only be done every five seconds or every five minutes someone can change the lights, right? And, you know, there also could be, like, a game of tic-tac-toe going on, right? Well, like, you could have a game and, like, you know, people playing and things going crazy. And it can get crazy, but that's kind of the point is that it's up to the live streamer. It could be, you could use either a full, like, um, you know, go full crazy with it or just make it, you know, modest, right? Uh, I even had an idea. I had an idea for a real, I had a really cool idea. Um, I had an idea for, I call it like a horror room. And it's like, what, what do you mean a horror room? And I said, what would be really funny is that, cause there are some people that are, they stream horror games, right? I said, wouldn't it be cool if they are playing the game and when someone, let's say donates 50 bucks or something, they could have something happen within the streaming space that terrifies the streamer. So it's like, it's like they're playing phasmophobia and they're creepy and they're looking around and they would have like the VR headset on. They would have a VR headset on. They would be streaming a regular game and then they could have something creepy happen off screen. And when the, they look up in their space and they see something creepy happening while they are playing a creepy game. Right. Right. So you can, you can do stuff like that. You can play with that. And that was an idea that I was like, Hey, you know, if you, you could stream this. I mean, the next step I think for this is VR. I think VR streaming is going to be the next, you know, someone could, so, you know, you, you could uh, be in the haunted shack, right? You could be sitting there playing the game and all of a sudden someone's playing with the lights over here. Tick, 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 and the streamer looks over here and people are, you know, playing around with stuff to try to freak the streamer out. Right. And I think that that would, that's kind of super, uh, super interesting, super cool. This is kind of, there's like, there's a lot of possibilities. It's a big plane of reality that people can work with. So, all right, so I went on a long tangent about that. I I am very very sorry that I went on such a long tangent. Um, but before I go, I just want to say thank you so much again, guys, um, for helping me out today. Uh, I was not in a good space yesterday, but of course you guys always help me out. You guys are always amazing. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to stream one more time. Um, hopefully tomorrow. 
Um, I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow uh, to see if we can help with this bar. And then we're going to be resetting the bar because, as I said, I missed a lot of streams. I was uh, really busy and a lot of things were happening. So I really do appreciate you guys. And I'm going to be back tomorrow night um, with more content. Usual time. Yep. seven Between 7 and 7.30. Um, we'll be trying to see what we can do and, um, yeah, um, who, uh, what games are, you know, before I go, uh, what games are you guys interested in seeing tomorrow? Do we want some Clive and Wrench? Do we want CTR? Do we want Spyro Crash 4? What do we want? What, how are we feel? How are we feeling? How are we feeling? We have Fall Guys. We got CTR. We got two Fall Guys. Club and Wrench. Croc. Not Night in the Woods. <laughs> Banjo. Okay. That's, uh, I have work to do. <laughs> so, yes, but also no. Um, okay, maybe I'll set out a poll as well on the YouTube community tab if you guys want to go vote there as well. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, when I come back. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video and our live stream. Time for the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.